By the end of this video, my theme will have a blog post page template that will be linked up to the post loop on the theme homepage. So let's get started. First, I'm going to add a new page. When building a WordPress theme in blocks, it's important to note that page names such as single, page, author, and category are all reserved and have a specific purpose when used in conjunction with WordPress. For example, in this video, I'm going to build the blog post page layout. This page will need to be called single in order for WordPress to use it as the blog post page template. Thankfully, you don't need to remember all of these names, as Blocks comes with a handy pop-up menu that helps to quickly find the page name for the type of page template you are building. As I previously mentioned, I intend to build the blog post page template, so that's what I will select from the menu. Notice that the page name has been automatically entered in the name field as single. This is the correct page name that WordPress will expect for this template. Let's click Create and get to work building this page. I'll start by adding a single column structure block. Then, I'll place a heading brick inside it. This section is going to be the main header for my blog post page template, and I'd like the heading to be populated with the blog post's title. To do that, I'll set the data source value for the heading to title. I'm also going to center the text, increase the font size, and set the heading placeholder content to something more meaningful. I'm now going to apply a background image to the block and also increase the padding. Finally, I'll reselect the heading and set the text color to white. That's the header section done. Time to add the area that will display the blog post content. I'll start with a single column block. I'll also make some minor adjustments to the column offset and width using the canvas controls. I want the blog post content to be displayed within this column. To do that, I'll open the brick bar, search for the WordPress content brick, and add it. The basic layout for my blog post page template is complete. Let's hit Preview and see how it looks. As you can see, the page is now populated with content from the most recent blog post on my local WordPress site. The only thing missing is the blog post feature image, so let's get that added next. I'd like the featured image to be displayed as the background image of the header block. To do that, I'll first select the header block on the design canvas, and then I'll move over to the data attribute settings in the inspector and apply a new data attribute with the name blocks wp post thumb and set its value to true. If I switch back over to preview mode, you can see the featured image from the blog post is now loaded into the header as the background. That's the post content taken care of. Now let's add some more post details to the page. I'd like to add the post tags and category links directly below the blog post content. To do that, I'll add two icon heading bricks. I'll set the icons for both headings, and then I'll set the content of the first heading to use the WordPress tag shortcode, and the second to use the WordPress categories shortcode. When I preview or export my theme, these shortcodes will be replaced with functioning code that will output the relevant data on the page. Blocks supports many WordPress shortcodes. You can check out the entire list of them on the Blocks knowledge base. Finally, I'll set both heading levels to 6. To help separate the different sections of the page, I'll also add a horizontal divider. Next, I'm going to add some details about the blog post author. I'll start by selecting the parent row via the layer tree, and then I'll add a new two column structure block. I'll also make some adjustments to the columns so the layout matches the rest of the page. In the left column, I would like to display the author's avatar. I'll add a rounded image brick 
and set the data source for the image to Author Avatar. In the right column, I'm going to add a header and paragraph combo brick. I would like to display the author's name and bio information here. I'll start by setting the header's content to Author, followed by the WordPress Author shortcode. Shortcodes come in useful when you want to blend dynamic database values with static content. Finally, I'm going to set the heading level to 5 and the text color to black. I want this paragraph brick to output the author bio information. To do that, I'll set the data source to author bio. I'm also going to set the placeholder text to something more meaningful. Now, let's switch to preview mode and see how that's looking. You can see the tags, categories, and author details are now populated. The only thing missing from my blog post page template is a comments section. So let's finish the page off by adding that. I'll begin by selecting the parent row via the layer tree. Then I'll add a single column structure block. I'm also going to adjust the offset and width of the column to match the layout. Next, I'll add a horizontal divider to help separate the content. All that is left to do is search for the WordPress comments brick and click to add it. My blog post page template is complete. Rather than preview these last changes in-app, I want to export and test my theme on my local WordPress setup. Before I do that, I'm going to set up the post loop item on the home page so that it will link to a blog post page when it's clicked. To do that, I'll select the image nested within the post loop column, set its interaction to WordPress link, and then set the target to permalink. I'll now export using the keyboard shortcut Command-E and choose to replace all older content in the export location. I'm now back in the browser with my local WordPress site running the theme that I'm building in blocks. If I click a blog post item on the home page, it will now take me to the relevant blog post page that is using the blog post page template I just created. As you can see, my post page is fully populated with dynamic content from WordPress, including tags, categories, and comments. In the next video, I will build the default page template that will be used for pages created with WordPress.